All right, comic book YouTube community, it is Mr. D, and I am back for comic book haul number 19. I am super, super excited to show you guys this comic haul. I've been waiting a long time to gather up these books, and I got some awesome stuff, so let's just jump right into this. Um, first off, we're going to start off with some books I got from my LCS, some of the stuff I already have copies of, so we're going to blow right through these. Uh, this is Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number four with this gorgeous Adam Hughes cover. Pick this up for cover price. Anytime I see this, I want to buy it every time. So awesome Adam Hughes. Then I also picked up another copy of this Vampirella Fairy Tales number two. This gorgeous Art Adams cover. I'll pick this up every time I see it for cover price too. So a little Art Adams. Guy that I don't think gets enough love from the comic book community at times. I like a lot of Art Adams stuff. Um, kind of old school. Uh, Wonder Woman, 189 Got this for cover price. Some more Adam Hughes goodness. Gorgeous white cover. Really happy to get this for cover price. And then this I got from a comic show. And this is a set. I picked this up for $5, and this book is getting a little bit hot because it's the villain in the Captain Marvel movie. And this is Annihilation Conquest, Wrath. So that is issue number one. This is the book that everyone's going for because it's the first appearance. And then since it was set, it came with two, came with three, and of course it came with four. So that is the uh, limited series right here. So these four books for five bucks, the uh, this first one in itself goes for about 10. So saw this for five as a no brainer to take that. This next one I picked up also from the comic show. Now this book does have some creases in it. That's probably why it was priced the way it was. I think a, pr a press will really help this book. Um, I've been looking for this for a while. The only copy I saw was listed on eBay for 40 bucks. Sold listings are for about 40 bucks, so I found this for $3. Like I said, it's got some creases in it. I think a press can probably save this book. This is Nova number eight. This is a beautiful Eddie Granoff. So I love this cover. I love the blues. They're so bright and vibrant, like I said, for three bucks. Even if a press can't make this, you know, really that perfect, it's for the PC. Go and hang on to it, so. Yeah, Eddie Granoff, goodness. Love it. And then I picked up this beautiful Secret Avengers number six. I will pick this book up every single time, too. I think this is a Dirkovic uh, cover. This is uh, Women of Power, the Valkyrie. So this is stunning. And this is beautiful white cover, too. I got three copies of this already, but anytime I see this for cover price... These go for about 10 or 15 bucks on eBay as well. So I will pick this book up every time. So just beautiful, beautiful book. Got this bad boy for cover too. Um, and I think I got a copy of this. Not 100% sure, but this is Wonder Woman 36. Some nice Finch work here. I'm not going to argue with that. I said I'm not really sure. I do think I got another copy of this, but... I just threw it in because it was cover price. Everyone picked this book up. I already know that. Adam Hughes, Captain Marvel, one in 25. But that's how long it's been since I've done a haul that I haven't showed this book off yet. So I know I've seen this in a lot of people's videos. It's late to the party, I guess. That's pretty typical for Mr. D here. So Captain Marvel, number one, Adam Hughes, one in 25, awesome book. Batman Who Laughs, number two, Ben Oliver. Ben Oliver did a killer job on this. I got some more Ben Oliver coming up in this haul video. You probably know what it already is. A uh, little art germ goodness for you. You guys all know that I love the art germs. So this is Supergirl number 26. Not picking up multiple copies like I used to because... The cat is out of the bag. Everyone knows about art germs, so that is no longer a surprise. Still a beautiful cover. Still had to pick it up. Remember when I said Ben Oliver? Catwoman number seven. You knew it was coming. Beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, this was going for a little bit of money uh, a couple weeks ago when this book came out. I think it's still hovering around 10 bucks. Uh, so I'm just really happy that I was able to get... 
Dos Catwomen. So two beautiful copies of Ben Oliver's Catwoman number seven. Really happy to have those in the PC. Let me put these books down real quick, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I also went to another LCS I typically don't go to. That's where I got some of these books from. This wasn't even on my radar. I just happened to see it on the internet that this book was kind of hot and it was going for something. They still had a copy. It was cover price. I took it. And that is this White Widow number one. This is the A cover uh, with the silver foil there. So found this for a cover price. I only recognized it uh, just because I saw that uh, people were talking about this online. So, eh, eh, kind of gimmicky, but eh, for cover price, take it, why not? Then, off of eBay, uh, I didn't I didn't bid on this. I ordered it from a store actually on eBay. So I got this for cover price too, plus the shipping. And that is Zombie Tramp number 56, the Colette Turner. Covered up the boobies there in case we have any youngsters. I doubt no kids watch this, but in case my kid comes walking in while I'm showing this book. Uh, so this is obviously the risque cover. Uh, so Colette Turner is the artist. Um, now you're familiar with a lot of their work or her work. I think it's a her. It might be a guy, it might be a girl, who knows? Um, but really cool. Really good looking cover, like it. Very reminiscent of, it's kind of like a combination of Michael Turner and uh, J. Scott Camblesh. I'm sure those are probably some of the influences there. So pick that up. I normally don't do store variants, you guys all know that, but I'm a sucker for good looking covers, just like all of us are. So I broke my rules. I have loved this book for the longest time. Spider-Gwen, number one, J. Scott Campbell, the um, Rupps comics. There's a black and white version, there's a color version. Uh, I just love this color version. I love the hot pink and the aqua or the teal. I just love the color contrast with this. Um, just a sucker for some J. Scott Campbell when, he, when it's not cheesy. When is it not cheesy when it's J. Scott Campbell? Who am I fooling? Um, but this is just a really great looking cover. I love this spider going here. Um, like I said, I love the color combination here, the contrast with the hot pink and the teal with the black and the white and the costume. Really well done, really well done cover. Um, so really happy to get this. Finally, because like I said, I've, I've seen this book plenty of times and I'm like, mm -hmm. I finally, I was like, screw it. Obviously I like it, so I'm buying it. This book got hot for a hot second too. I think this book was going for like 60 to $80, I think at one point. I think it's come down a little bit. Uh, I haven't watched a bit. I haven't been watching the market on it because I don't plan on selling it. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder Goes to Hell. This is the one in ten Albuquerque variant, and the reason I got that is because this was in a package deal. So it's twenty five dollars for this, and the second book was this. So this is also Shredder Goes to Hell, and I believe this is the Frankie Comics. This is the Gabriel Delato. Um, remember the story I just told you how I don't buy store variants? Yeah. So I did bid on these. This was an eBay buy and I bid $25. It sold for 27. I got the email that I had a second chance offer for $25. And at the time I knew that this book had gone up in price and was going for like between 30 and 60 at the time. And I knew this book based on Frankie's comics was 30 bucks alone. Since it's the Virgin variant, it's probably limited to like 500 copies or whatever it is. So right then and there, I knew that I had to snag these up. So really happy, short it goes to hell. Pretty cool, really happy to have those in the collection. Now, this next book is still kind of a hot book. Um, and I got all three of these, I got three copies of it. And I was able to get all three of them for cover price. And I'm not trying to brag. I'm just letting you know and being honest here. Cover price for this beauty. Uncanny X-Men, number, uh, number 10, David Finch. Classic, classic Wolverine. Yellow and brown outfit. Destroyed Sentinel. Torn up costume. Just very, very reminiscent of uh, Days of Future Past. 
love this cover. I think this is going to go down as a classic Wolverine cover at some point down the road. Uncanny X-Men, a lot of people slept on this. So, yeah, man. Three copies of this beauty. All for cover price. Thought I put one of those in the Mylar. Next book, super stoked, super excited. Got this gifted to me from a friend at work. Came into work, saw this on my keyboard. I'm like, hey man, you left your uh, you left your comic book on my desk. He was like, that's not mine. And I'm like, well, it's not mine. And uh, it's a book that I've been wanting for a while. It's a book that he's been wanting for a while. I knew he got a copy. And this is a hard book to find one copy. And to find out that he got a second copy. And the second copy was mine nonetheless. Hands down, probably one of the best Mondays I've ever walked into work having. And that is Voltron, Defenders of the Universe. That's right, a legend forged. Very early Jenny Frizen artwork. A lot of you guys know about this book. This thing is tough to hunt down. And when you do find it, it's going to cost you a pretty penny uh, to snag this book. Um, this book does have a few issues. It kind of has like a weird ripple to it. And it does have one or two spine ticks. Uh, one of them is color breaking, which kind of stinks. Uh, but for the rarity of this book, I'm certainly not complaining. I do plan on getting this pressed out along with that Nova. I'm going to send both these to get pressed out. I think that will clean this book up pretty good. At least it'll get kind of like the ripple and the wave out of the cover. It should take care of two, two of the spine ticks, I think, would be eliminated. Uh, there is one, like I said, there's one that's kind of deep that is color breaking. So obviously not much is going to happen with that. But super, super happy to not only find this book, but to get it for free for my buddy who loves comic books. So uh, I can't thank him enough. Uh, just awesome, awesome gift. Uh, yeah, and since C2E2 is right around the corner and Jenny Frizen's going to be down there, might be getting a SIG on this book too right away. A good SIG and a press. Press and a SIG. Next two books got as a lot on eBay. Um, only really wanted one of the books, but I couldn't say no to the lot because it was decently priced. Uh... DuckTales, number one, Donald Duck, blueprint variant. You know, this was part of the package. If you guys are familiar, you recognize this, there's a good chance you know what's coming next. So, got this, bought the lot for this. And that is DuckTales, number zero, Uncle Scrooge, one in 10, blueprint variant. Missed the boat when this book first came out. My LCS tried getting this uh, last minute for me. Couldn't do it. Prices jumped up on this to about 75 to 100 bucks. I was hoping, since it was DuckTales, they'd kind of drop back down. Never came back down. This book is still sitting between 75 to 100 bucks, 100 bucks raw. It's about 125 to 150 graded. Uh, so this is still a pretty sought after book. Uh, so I ended up I ended up paying a decent amount for this. Um, but what what sold the deal and what swinged it up was this was included in it. So yeah, man. Ducktales number one and number zero, both the blueprints. Little Scrooge and Donald. Just really happy to have these. Like I said, I. I don't know what it is. I think it's the graph paper and like the blue drawing like on the background of it that I just really, I really, just, I don't know. I just, I dig it. I really like the cover. And that's what it's about at the end of the day. Uh, you collect what you like and you collect what you love and you know, it, it is what it is. So I hope you guys are enjoying this new background that I got going on. I'm filming this up in the den. I, lit, I got a natural gas fireplace, so I figured I'd light that to give it some ambiance and to really, you know, set the mood for this video. I figured you guys would really appreciate that. 
Um, so I want to do some quick shout outs real quick. Shout out to Poor Man Comics, uh, my homeboy down in Chicago. Hope we get a chance to meet up with him at C2E2. I'm going to give a shout out to Quizix up north in Canada. Uh, since I'm speaking in Canada, uh, shout out to Tim the Canadian Comic Book Hunter. Shout out to Bat Avenger, uh, another awesome YouTuber. Actually, I just saw that he posted some videos, so I want to catch up and um, get with him. Shout out to Kingdom Comics and to Sunshine Collects Things too for uh, exposing exposing fraudulent activities. Uh, you may or may not know what's going on with that, but what uh, what they're referring to, uh, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Whatever, I'm going to leave it at that. So shout out to Kingdom Comics and Sunshine Collects things. Three more books, guys. Three more books. These are the ones you want to stick around for. Remember, I've told you once, i told you twice, I don't collect store variants. Yeah. See, I'm always fucking lying to you guys. Harley Quinn, number one. Bulletproof Comics, the pink cover, Gabriel Delato. I had to do it, man. I love, I, I love this cover. This is one of my favorite Delato books uh, that he did. And the buddy who got me the Voltron, he has this, I think, in a graded nine eight yellow label with Delato's signature, like in the mallet. And he showed that off to me, and I just I, I fell in love with it because it's a gold sig, and it just looks awesome. Um, I, damn, it's bad enough that it's it's uh, a slab, but then it's in one of these mylar bags. It's getting all sorts of shiny. But you see what it is? Nine six. You know how I roll. So had to do it. I got this book for seventy bucks, a graded Delato. Harley Quinn number one pink for 70 bucks. I wasn't going to say no to that. I mean, come on. Raws have dropped. This book was hot for a long second. But Raws are still going for about 100 bucks. So to get a graded 9.6, 70 bucks, have my money. Um, next book is a little bit of a spec play. A lot of you guys are already in tune with this, so this isn't like some big secret. Um, Captain Marvel, number 14, first appearance of Camilla Khan, or first cameo, cameo, first appearance, whatever. Market's going to decide on what book is hot and what, what isn't. So, um, snag this up. This is another graded 9.6. I got this for what Raws are going for. Raws are going for about 200 bucks. So really happy, nine six. And then last book, this is the Big Daddy book, and I got this for less than what books are selling for on eBay too. So I want to give a big, huge shout out to Erod from the New York Warriors. He had this book uh, last Tuesday. Buy it now. I wasn't going to let. This book just sit there, not for the asking price he had this for. Um, this book wasn't even on my radar. I know of it. I've seen this book. I never bothered hunting it because I was like, I'm not going to find it. And if I do, I'm not going to pay that price for that. Um, but he had it for an awesome price. Again, I wasn't going to let this just sit here. And no, this is not my first 9-8. My first 9-8 is actually um, done by the same artist that this is by. Seven to Eternity artist, Jerome Opeña. 9-8, Punisher, number two, 1-50, in 50, Jerome Opeña. So huge shout out to Erod. Uh, awesome book. He packed this like a champ. Uh, ship priority, so it came right away. Super, super happy to have gotten this book. Again, this is one of those ones where... I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't planning on it, but the opportunity just kind of fell into my lap. That's kind of like how I got my Supergirl and Legion of Superheroes 23. Knew of it, wasn't actively looking for it because I didn't think I could afford a copy. And then, boom, it just kind of falls in your lap and it's at a good, at a fair price, something that you want to pay. And it just happens, man. So to all you guys who are looking for some of these high dollar books, Man, patience and perseverance. Y'all got to learn that. 
because it'll happen. Um, and you'll get deals and you'll find you'll find these books and you'll find deals on them. You just got to be patient. Don't don't go running out there and buying stuff at ridiculous high prices when books get hot or because some top 10 list or some clown on YouTube, you know, starts reading off a list and tells you, hey, this book is hot. Go buy it. Don't fall for it. YouTube community. Be patient. The books will come. They're out there. You'll get them for a price that you want to pay to. And uh, that's a life lesson you can teach your kids. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and you like these books. Give it the thumbs down if you don't like my whole ambiance in these books. Give the thumbs down. I'm good with that. Uh, but whatever you do, leave me some comments below so I know what you guys are thinking. I love chatting it up with you guys as always. Um, thanks again, everyone. Happy Friday and have yourselves an awesome weekend. See ya.